please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell notification button. Hello everybody. First objective of this video is to demonstrate a complicated integrate can be reduced to a simple form. This is what, what I call integrate spatial even function where the function fx in, in the equation must be an even function which means f negative x is equal to fx which means the function is symmetry in the y exit. Once we show the proof of the number 1, we are going to use to solve a integrate with algebra, trigonometry and exponential. First, let's define g where g is the expected answer of the integral negative a to a fx 1 plus b power x dx b is any numbers in, it can be a complex number then we define y equals to negative x which means dx is equals to negative dy now let's do a very simple table x and y when x is negative a, obviously y is a. When x is positive a, y becomes negative a. So let's transform this equation, which is equation 1, into y domain. g is integral a to negative a. Function negative y over 1 plus b power negative y multiply negative dy here take notes that because it is a even function so f negative y will become fy and then the negative of the dy will be cancelled off after we swap the a and negative a so therefore g change to integral negative a to a fy 1 plus b power negative y dy now we multiply the top and bottom with b power y so that we can transform the b power negative y to positive y now it becomes g integral negative a to a b power y fy over the b power y multiply b power negative y become 1 plus 1 multiply b power y become b power y dy so this is an equation another equation for g because the equation itself does not have any other variable which means the equation is going to be valid if we change the y become another variable name such as t or even x so therefore you have g is integral negative a to a b power x fx 1 plus b power x dx so this is equation 2 so we have two equation equation 1 and equation 2 similar both in function f x so let's do 1 plus 2 so there will be g plus g in the left hand side equals to integral negative a a f x 1 plus b power x dx plus integral the range also the same b power x f x over 1 plus plus b power x dx this is a eg algebra because the bottom is the same so the left hand side become 2g the integral range is the same the bottom is b 1 plus b power x on the top you have a, a fx plus bx fx dx right but actually you can factor become 1 plus b b power x 
fx. So obviously, 1 plus b power x is not equal to 0. So you can cancel these two terms. Then bring the 2 to the right hand side become 1 over 2. Negative a a fx dx. They give us a conclusion. Okay, both equation one and two are equal to g equals to this one. So. Let's move to the second objective. So obviously this is similar to the equation that we derived just now. And this is fx. We need to be sure fx is even function. First we know the negative x power 2 is going to be the same as x power 2 which is even function. We know cos negative x is actually cos x, which is again even function. Or we can say fx is x squared plus cos x, which is an even function. Because one even function plus another even function, the answer must be even function. So as a conclusion, integral can be simplified become 1 over 2 integral pi over 2 negative to pi over 2 x square plus cos x dx let's evaluate the 1 over 2 still there x power 2 integral become 1 over 3 x power 3 plus integral cos sine x is become sine x pi over 2 negative pi over 2 so for simplicity i transform the 1 over 2 into the equation become 1 over 6 x power 3 plus 1 over 2 sine x with the range pi over 2 negative pi over 2 put in the pi over 2 into the equation you have a pi over 2 power 3 become pi over 3 divided by 8 the 8 multiply with 46 become 48 plus 1 over 2 sine pi over 2 minus the negative pi over 2 power 3 become negative pi power 3 divided by uh, 6 multiply 8 again 48 plus 1 over 2 sine negative pi over 2 we know sine pi over 2 is sine 90 degree which is 1 and we know sine negative pi over 2 is negative 1 so it become pi over 3 over 48 plus half minus negative pi over 3 over 48 negative 1 over 2 so you do the max the pi over 3 over 48 multiply 2 become pi over 3 over 24 the half minus minus half become plus 1 so this is the answer thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification button bye bye